Um, our next uh, speaker on the panel is Cynthia Pickett Stevenson. She's a principal of the Pickett Law Group and co-chair of the Houston Methodist DeBakey Heart and Vascular Center Council um, and senior cabinet, me senior cabinet member of the Houston Methodist President's Leadership Council. Um, Cynthia Pickett Stevenson is going to tell you about her new interest in nature and heart health. Well, good afternoon, friends. I want to talk to you just a few minutes about exposure to to nature and heart wellness and, he and healing. While I talk to you, I'm gonna ask you to take a brief experiment with me and participate in it. And that is to take a measure of your feelings of stress and anxiety right this moment. Now, with the Hollywood roll it back there, I'm gonna ask you to watch this nature vi uh, video during this sh short segment. And before I end, I'm going to ask you, by show of hands, if your stress and anxiety levels are not lowered by this ex short exposure to nature. I feel better already. Mm. <laughs> Science proves that stress contributes to cardiovascular disease. We've heard about this from several of our doctors today. And that exposure to nature reduces stress, protects against heart disease, and heals the heart. But what's lacking is the evolution of the science behind the mechanisms in nature that trigger this protective and preventive and healing effect of nature. What has happened before is uh, been siloed research in, va in various universities. What has never, to our knowledge, happened before is for a leading academic medical institution such as Houston Methodist and its research institute and a leading university, an academic leader in nature conservation and public health, such as Texas A&M, and a leading conservation organization, such as Texan by Nature, founded by the former First Lady Laura Bush, to collaborate in advancing the scientific research and publish the outcomes to inform the innovative healthcare delivery systems through exposure to nature. I proudly inform you that Houston Methodist continues to lead medicine. It is uh, lined up a collaboration with A&M, with Texan by Nature. Dr. Zalbi and I are partners in crime in, in, the, in prevention and wellness, and this is going to be a plank of it. And we are going to advance the scientific research in this area to prove what nature does for, for health, heart health, prevention and wellness, among so many other things. Dr. Bita Cash, would you please stand up? Dr. Bita Cash is brilliant, and she's another partner in this, a significant partner in this. She is going to house our Center for Health and Nature in her Outcomes Center, which is a, a collaboration between Methodist and Texas A&M University. And the pilot study is going to be on cardiovascular wellness prevention in connection with exposure to nature. So just one of these uh, projects in this plank of the cardiovascular section is going to involve, and I have to read because I'm not a doctor, exposure to nature on the outcomes of elderly women, 65 and older, and since I'm now 65, I resent that remark, <laughs> uh, um, with heart failure and preserved left vent uh, ventricular ejection fraction. This research will be conducted by Dr. Carl Meyer, who you've spoken with and who's co-chairing this event today, Dr. Bita Cash, and Dr. Obet Shion. The impact of this project will show that exposure to nature not only provides emotional support and pleasant patient experience, but it also is going to contribute to the patient's physical well-being by lowering their stress levels. Overall, this will lead to improved health outcomes of patients and support the use and role of nature in the healing environment. Beyond this, we expect these outcomes of this collaboration through the Center for Health and Nature to inform and transform public policy and the delivery of health care. And ultimately, we hope, focus people's attention on the need to conserve nature because the science shows that our health and well-being depend upon it. Now, I would like to, just as I end and before I take the, the test results here, I would ask you to post that magazine slide from Shape Magazine and just take a look. And Shape is one of these scientific medical journals that we all read. <laughs> uh, I love it. 
but anyway, these are several uh, f uh, PhD doctors and physicians from around the country who tell you of the results from their siloed research of what the exposure of nat to nature can do for you. Now, I'd like to take a show of hands and I'd like to see, does your anxiety and your stress level feel better after viewing the beautiful scenes of nature that we've, we've shown here? And if so, please raise your hand. <laughs> so the moral is, take a 30-minute walk in nature while you drink a glass of wine. <laughs> <laughs> that was wonderful.